guys, this is Brittany from Just Be Crafty, and today I'm going to show you how to do the bobble stitch. The bobble stitch is a really neat little stitch. Um, it creates these little tiny nodules in your work, and it just adds texture to your project, and a lot of crochet patterns call for this, so I thought it would be fun to do a little tutorial. To get started, I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. This is a worsted weight cotton yarn, and um, I already have one row done, and so I will show you how to do this. You actually work the bobble stitch on the back side of your work. The side that's facing you will actually be flat, that's the back side, and the bobbles pop out on the front. So for this demonstration, we're going to begin, we're going to begin our next row by chaining one, single crocheting in the first stitch, and now we're going to start our bobble stitch in this very next stitch. You begin by yarning over, inserting your hook into the stitch, catching your yarn, grabbing it, and pulling it through, yarning over, and pulling through two loops on your hook. Now you yarn over again, and you just do the same thing. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops on our hook, and now we have three loops sitting on our hook. You're going to do that until you have five loops on your hook total. So we're going to do this two more times. So yarn over, put your hook into that next stitch, into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We now have four, we have one left. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two stitches on your hook. Now we have five loops, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. And that's our bobble. Really what makes the bobble is the next stitch is a single crochet. Next stitch, we're going to do our bobble. So I'll show you again. You begin by yarning over, inserting your hook into that next stitch, grabbing your yarn, pulling it through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook. And we're just going to repeat that until we have five loops total on our hook. Now we have our five loops, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and now single crochet in that next stitch. And if we look at the project, you'll see it's flat on this side, which is the back, and then if you turn it over, you see the bobble stitch. If you found the tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks!